could you reach out to for advice and help? In today's lesson, we will see how Elijah walked in the assurance of God's presence, his shield of protection. Little is known about Elijah's birth or family other than he came from Tishbe in Gilead. God called Elijah to prophesy, speaking out against Baal worship in Israel, and to actively take part in ending this abomination among God's people. Elijah called out the prophets of Baal for a showdown on Mount Carmel. He challenged the people of Israel to serve the winner of the contest. Baal and the prophets of the false, false gods were destroyed in the showdown. Which brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you and thy father's house, and that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and you have followed Balaam. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 18. Unlike King David, who repented and sought the Lord during the famine, the famine never stirred Ahab to repentance. Elijah was on his way to deliver a challenge from God to King Ahab. Obadiah was on his way to scout for grazing lands for the animals. Through divine providence, they met each other on the road. Elijah has been sent by God to confront the wicked King Ahab directly, Therefore, he commissioned Obadiah to go and notify Ahab of his presence. Obadiah's anxiety is apparent from his answer to Elijah's order. Moved by fear, Obadiah asked Elijah what crime he had committed that would warrant his death. For Obadiah, asking him to go and declare that he has seen Elijah, was tantamount to him being sent to death at the hand of his master. Then Obadiah stated, the reasons it was so dangerous to go to Ahab and inform him that Elijah was around. After Obadiah's excuses, Elijah assures him with an oath that he will certainly show himself to Ahab that very day. Elijah's statement, as the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, is seen in the Jewish culture as more than a promise of assurance. It is a binding pledge, a word of honor that cannot be broken. Armed with this vow and trusting Elijah as a man of integrity, Obadiah went off and met the king. There is no doubt Ahab recognized Elijah the moment he saw him. However, he must have been stunned to see him after years of searching without success. Therefore, the translation that tends to accurately portray the essence of this moment is... So, it is really you, you troublemaker of Israel. New Living Translation Ahab tried to hold Elijah responsible for the drought and to charge him of a crime against the state worthy of death. Of course, Elijah was in a good company because Paul and Jesus would also be labeled troublemakers. But Elijah is not intimidated or afraid of the king. Instead of apologies or pleas for pardon, the prophet boldly threw back the charge to Ahab. He, calls, he tells him that the national calamity is traceable to him and his family because they do not obey God's laws and, and worship other gods. And therefore, the source of Israel's problem was not Elijah or the drought, but Ahab's breaking of the covenant. This confrontation between Ahab and Elijah is the prelude of the famous confrontation between Elijah and the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. And so here's our lesson. Standing up for your faith today, especially to those who do not agree with your beliefs or those who disagree with Christian beliefs, is not always easy. Elijah walked in such confidence. He struggled at times with negative thinking and depression, but he also listened to God and followed God's instructions. So let's think of people, Christians that we know, who are bold like Elijah, and if possible, let's learn from them, have a conversation with them about their journey, and again, learn from their experience. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.